Loss of braking, reverse max, brake pedals release, anti-skid nose wheel steering, command off, anti-skid nose wheel steering off, brake pressure apply, do not exceed 1,000 PSI, and if no stopping action, parking brake, use. That's your loss of braking memory item on the A320, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. What's the story behind this memory item? Why is it written this way? Why are we doing it in this sequence? Why do we have to release the toe brakes before we command the anti skin nose or steering off? Let's dissect it and look at it here a little bit in detail. First thing, we go to reverse max. We typically don't use reversers below 70 knots. It's a little bit out of procedure, out of protocol. And also, reversers are most effective at high speed. So to be utilizing them at low speed and also below 70 knots at a taxi speed is a little bit unusual or abnormal. But the reality of it is we're in an abnormal situation. We have no brakes, okay? So we're going to have to utilize whatever we can, what stopping force we can, and that's why we start with the reversers into max so that we utilize whatever resource, in this case reversers, possible to bring the airplane to a stop. Now, let's move on to the second piece of this. Brake pedals, release, anti-skid nose wheel steering, command off, anti-skid nose wheel steering off. What is that all about? Well, what happens is that when you place the anti-skid nose wheel steering switch to the off position, you are effectively switching from the brake steering control unit, BSCU, to the alternate brake control unit, or the ABCU. The ABCU is a little more sensitive than the BSCU. And so for the same toe brake deflection that you would have in normal operation, that could be a very much more aggressive rate of deceleration or very more aggressive brake application that the ABCU is applying. And so the last thing we would want is to have our feet on the brakes make the switch from the brake steering control unit to the alternate when we put the anti-skid nose steering switch to off and all of a sudden we have far greater braking application than what we desired and we end up with our wheels locked simply put the reason we're removing our brakes from the our toes from the uh from the toe brakes and then commanding the switch off is to prevent wheel lockup when we switch to the anti or to the alternate brake control unit or the ABCU. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, apart from that, if you still have no braking action, you're having a not so great day at work there, you're going to need to use your parking brake. It doesn't necessarily specify how to utilize it, but you're going to utilize it judiciously so that we also do not encounter a wheel lockup scenario. So hopefully this makes sense. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe, hit the little bell for the notifications so you get all kinds of videos like this. And as always, visit our website where we actually have this kind of content. We take the complex and simplify it. Give you the why behind the what. Okay, very simply put, you know what the memory item is. Do you understand why it is written the way it is and why you are carrying out the steps the way you are carrying them out? And really, I just put out a different video recently on our YouTube channel that says when you understand the why behind the what, your comprehension and retention goes up exponentially. And so if you're an instructor, aim to do this with your students. And if you're a student, aim to understand the why behind the what so that you can have better success in your training programs. All right, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. Hope to work with you online, in person, virtual, whatever. We'll see you in another video.